Good day and welcome to today's class. Today we shall be looking at coordinate geometry of a straight line. This is, as usual, brought to you courtesy of edifice.ng. My name is Kaviru Abdul Kadir. Now we are going to start with midpoints of two points. Now, if, for instance, you are given two numbers, 5 and 10, and then you are asked to find the midpoints between them, now what you do is to find their average, and that's all. So you say 5 plus 10 divided by 2, that's 15 divided by 2, and then you have 7.5. Let us not bore you with too much English. That is what midpoint means. But when we are talking about using, finding the midpoint using a simple graph, then it means we have to apply the formula. And the formula is m is equal to x1 plus x2 over 2, comma, y1 plus y2 over 2. So you can see two coordinates here, x1, y1 and then x2, y2. It is showing you where to place, where to know which one is your x1, which one is your y1, which one is your x2, and then which one is your y2. Now, we have a simple formula here, and then we have simple calculations. Now, when you are giving the coordinates, that makes your work very easy. You don't need to identify anything. Just know where x1 is, know where your y1 is, know where your x2 is, and then know where your y2 is, and then you substitute them in the simple formula. So in this case, our x1 is minus 2, our x2 is 5, our y1 is 1, our y2 is 4. In substituting them in this formula now, we have minus 2 plus 5, which is going to be 3, and then we have 1 plus 4, which is going to be 5. So in conclusion, we have 1.5 and 2.5. We have to calculate the distance between two points. The distance there, as you can see, is represented by the red line there, and then D is standing for distance. So we have the horizontal and then the vertical. Now, your Y axis is standing for your Y2 minus Y1, and then your X axis is standing for your X2 minus X1. This is very simple. What you need to do now is to apply the formula anytime you are given the coordinates. So now we have distance formula. Now and then the distance formula is AB is equal to X2 minus X1 squared plus Y2 minus Y1 squared all in a square root. So let's look at this example. Let's say find AB. That's find the distance between A and B. The coordinates of A are minus 1 and 3. And then the coordinates of B are 3 and minus 2. So in substituting them in this formula now, it is pretty simple. What you need to do is just to identify x2, identify x1, y2, y1, and then you substitute in the formula. So when you do that correctly, you are going to find the distance between A and B to be 6.40. So now let's look at this simple explanation of x2 and x1, and then y2 and then y1. The horizontal distance is standing for your x2 minus x1. Don't forget the squared. And then plus the vertical distance is now standing for y2 minus y1 squared, all in square root. So we'll look at another example here. They said, given the coordinates of two points, we can use the formula. So in this case, we have what is the distance between the points? Point A is having two coordinates, 5 and minus 1. And then point B is having two coordinates, which is minus 4 and 5. So now, the 5 here is for x1. Then y1 is for minus 1. Then minus 4 is for x2. y2 is 5. All we need to do is just to bring down the formula, and then we substitute in it, and then get the final answer to be 3 root 13. That is, if you decide to leave your answer in sort form. In case you don't want to leave your answer in this format, all you need to do is to use your calculator, press the square root of 13, whatever you get, you multiply it by 3, and then you get the final answer. So we are going to something different. We now have equation of a line. The equation of a line is always given as y is equal to mx plus c. In this simple illustration here, the blue is standing for m, and m is standing for gradient. We already did how to calculate gradient of a straight line and gradient of a curve extensively in our previous class. So in this case, when you look, go back and look at your gradient formula, we have our gradient formula to be 
y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So in doing that here, you are going to have your m to be gradient to be 2 over 4, which is 1 over 2. And then your c is standing for the intersection between your red line and then your y axis. So in this case, they have intercepted at minus 1. So your c is very easy to identify, which is minus 1. So in substituting them in this formula, now y equal to mx plus c, your m is 1 over 2, and then your c is minus 1. So you have y is equal to 1 over 2x minus 1. Now we have another simple formula here, another simple question for us to solve here. In this case, we are going to have y equal to mx plus c. Your m is the slope, which is still the gradient. Now we have our gradient to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So our y2 is 2 minus 0, 0 minus minus 3 over 2. When you substitute, you have 4 over 3. So you have your m and then you have your b. In this case, we are no longer using c but b, which is the intersection between your y-axis and your slope, your line. So now, having done that, then we have two assignment questions for us to solve. Number one is find the distance between two points with the following coordinates, x and y. x is 3 and 5, and y is 9 and 12. Then number two, find the equation of the straight line, and then we have a and b. a is 9 and 5, b is 12 and 13. Thank you very much for your time.